Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune. I'm with uh, Ron Higgins, our columnist, uh, SEC and LSU columnist. And it's uh, Alabama week finally. Uh, that bye week seemed to go by kind of slow. Uh, but uh, before we get to the game, on Tuesday, we'll, the College Football Playoff Committee um, will put out its first rankings of the season, the first of six. It uh, doesn't mean a lot. It's like those early BCS rankings, but uh, you get, you'll get an idea of uh, uh, who the strongest teams are. LSU could be anywhere in that top four. I believe they will be in the top four. They could be even number one going into this game. And last year they didn't have to deal with it. They already had two losses at this point in the season. So I, I guess LSU fans aren't, aren't used to it. But uh, uh, this game on Saturday will definitely stir the pot. Oh, absolutely. I mean, but both these teams, I mean, LSU's number four in the polls, Alabama's number seven. And you go into this game, yeah, the, BC, the BCS rankings are coming out Tuesday. LSU, I think they'll probably be number two. But you got to remember last year, Ohio State in the first rankings was number 16. So it's not where you start in these rankings, it's where you finish in the rankings. It's nice to have an edge up like this, but everybody knows that Alabama, this is the toughest game of the year every year. There's no trickery in this game. These are two teams full of NFL talent with physical players, and it's about execution and fundamentals, like a football coach. But honestly, that's how they play. You know, it's a slug in your mouth, grind it out, and, and, and see who, who comes out the better man. Okay, there, uh, there's not a single LSU player on this team that's played in a victory over Alabama. Uh, uh, the Tide has won four straight. Um, I think a lot of people see this as maybe LSU's best chance. LSU's got probably uh, the single best weapon in, in college football in uh, Leonard Fournette. Um, just an uncommonly good player. Uh, and he's going against a really strong, uh, well-built front seven of, of, of Alabama. They're only giving up 78 yards rushing a game to teams. Leonard's averaging 193 per game. So we're, we're going to have a real clash, like you said, of strengths. And I think maybe what happens in those cases, it's other, it's other players that end up deciding the game. Well, absolutely. I mean, it, it, I mean, I think Brandon Harris have a huge role. And I think he'll have a huge role running the ball. I mean, I can see... I mean, if you watch Brandon Harris this year, when he runs a spread option and, and, and makes the keep, I mean, he, he, he really makes a good decision on the keep. Most of the time, he'll get a nice chunk of yards, 20, 25 yards, and he hasn't shown that a bunch this year. So I don't know if Alabama really realizes that this guy can really run. And that keeps the defenses honest. And, again, we know he rolls out and throws the ball well off the rollout. So, yeah, there's all, this, all these other factors. I, I'm, I have the feeling that – most of the nation still looks at LSU like it's, you know, Leonard Fournette versus the other team. And the offense has developed nicely from game to game. And there's more to LSU than, than Leonard Fournette. And this is a game they're going to really have to show that to win it. Okay. Stay with us all week for coverage on NOLA.com. For Ron Higgins, I'm Jim Kleinpeter, and we'll see you on NOLA.com.